We'll be learning about the square root property here. Let's solve this equation for x. Now there are a few different ways to solve this. First of all, let's notice that the left-hand side here is the difference of two squares, isn't it? Namely, 3x quantity squared minus 4 squared. And remember, in this case, we have a special formula for factoring the difference of two squares. Namely, a squared minus b squared factors into a minus b times a plus b. So let's apply that here with a equal to 3x and b equal to 4. That is, the left-hand side factors into 3x minus 4 times 3x plus 4. And now we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means either the first factor is 0 or the second factor is 0, which means that x is equal to 4 thirds or x is equal to negative 4 thirds. Which would be our answer? Now, rather than solving this equation this way, we could use the following property. The square root property states that the solutions to the equation c squared is equal to d, where d is a positive real number, are c is equal to plus or minus the square root of d. Now, how could we use this here? Well, let's start by adding 16 to both sides of this equation which gives us 9x squared is equal to 16. And then dividing both sides by 9, we get x squared is equal to 16 divided by 9. And by this property, with c equal to x and d equal to 16 over 9, we get that the solutions to this equation are x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16 over 9. Or x is equal to plus or minus 4 thirds, which are the same answers. Let's look at another example. Let's solve this equation for y. Now here, it's much more straightforward to just start off using our square root property with c equal to 2y minus 5 and d equal to 9. Therefore, the solutions to this equation can be found as follows. We have c is equal to plus or minus the square root of d. So c, which in this case is 2y minus 5, is equal to plus or minus the square root of d, which is 9, or 2y minus 5 is equal to plus or minus 3, which means 2y minus 5 is either equal to 3 or 2y minus 5 is equal to negative 3. And adding 5 to both sides, we get 2y is equal to 8 or 2y is equal to 2. And now dividing both sides by 2, we get y is equal to 4, or y is equal to 1. Which would be our answer? And this is how we use this square root property here. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.